All right, so here at uh, Oshkosh 2024 at the Dine-On booth, and just to clarify everything, we're here to announce a much bigger panel. That's not it, okay? That's the display. I keep on trying to zoom in and focus in on that, but um, this is the panel. So, Michael, introduce yourself again and the why to going big. Yeah, I'm Michael Schofield from Dine-On Avionics. I'm our head of marketing here. And uh, this is the new 12-inch Skyview HDX display. We introduced this uh, at Sun and Fun, and it's just started shipping in small quantities. It's going to be a little while before we're fully caught up. Uh, it'll be shipping in volume in, in the over the next couple of months. Um, you know, we've had the 10-inch display for a while and the 7-inch display for a while, and that fits in a lot of aircraft. But um, a lot of us have aging eyes. I'm at the point where I'm starting to get to reader zone, and you know, bigger is better if you're looking to uh, to have high visibility. So, uh, very frequent product requests, just you know, bigger screens, and so we're. We're, we're going there. Uh, won't fit in every aircraft. We know it fits in the RV-14 uh, and the RV-10, and then other people are going to see how it works in their airplane. So instead of the need to go to a screen and, and try to like, it's already at the, the next level of zoom. That's exactly right. And what's really nice is that the uh, the cutout is actually the same as our 10-inch display. And so people could even upgrade if they have enough space around their their existing 10-inch uh, uh, display. So the, the new display kind of sits parked on the outside of the instrument panel, if you will, so like I said, the hole is the same size. Yeah, all of the, the computer and the uh, the metal can around back, that's the same size, and then the LCD and then the, the front end is, is, is broader. Nice for retrofits. Indeed. Okay, so is there any other change other than the size that has been worked into this uh, this model or pretty much the exact copy of the others? It's it's just like the 10 and the 7-inch models, it's, they're basically the same. It's um, uh, high resolution screens, super bright, sunlight readable. Um, all of the wiring is exactly the same as you know the, the computer is essentially the same. And so yeah, uh, easy for customers to choose. Okay. So comparing the the seven, ten, and now twelve, what would be the price jumps to each? Yeah. So basically the. Um, the, the the jump from the 10 or sorry the 10 to the 12 inch is about a thousand dollars if you're wanting more uh, square footage of, uh, of lights and uh, things in your airplane that's not a bad bad jump and uh, this is a brand new product for you guys and with every little change has a ripple effect so we just have this conversation off camera it's not a matter of just um, buying a big a bigger screen the whole thing changes so what are you thinking of, of lead times for this new design? So uh, any new product, there's always a, uh, you know, there's the, the supply chain crisis, quote unquote, that's done with, but any new product just has, uh, you know, different parts and you're, you know, uh, booting up um, new things like that. So this one is, don't have a firm lead time because we are still working to get our, our production ramped up, but the production ramp is going to happen over the next couple of months and by uh, late summer, or early fall, fall, we should be able to be shipping in quantity so that we can fulfill the already large backlog. So it'll be just enough time so wives can start shopping for your husbands for a Christmas present. Sounds about right. <laughs> All right, so what else is going on, uh, Dine On? One of these days, I'm going to do a factory tour to, to kind of pull the curtain back behind there and see what you're allowed to share with us at least. But uh, that's going to be forthcoming. Um, what else is in the works with uh, Dine On these days? So we have a whole bunch of other things we're announcing at uh, AirVenture Oshkosh 2024. One is an emergency glide feature. If you press and hold the nearest button, I can demonstrate this perhaps. Um, if we press and hold the, let's grab the map here. If we press and hold the nearest button, immediately the, the system is going to look for an airport that is both close enough as far as wind and terrain are concerned um, and so, and then try to glide to it. So right now it looks like, I think we're right over an airport. Yes, yeah, so it's going back to, we've just taken off out of Payne Field near Seattle. Emergency Glide is going to uh, go back to that airport. It thinks we can make it and may or may not be able to. But again, so it, it may take you an airport that is not the closest one if you can't make the closest airport. Uh, maybe it's over a small hill or maybe uh, the winds aren't favoring that airport. And so what it does, it engages the autopilot, it commands it to go there it targets your best glide speed as you've programmed it into the system. When it gets there, um, when it gets to the airport, it'll prompt the pilot to take over. And if they don't, it will then circle the airport. It's a really nice safety feature when you have um, an engine out and you know aviate, navigate, communicate. It helps you with the aviate part so you can do some of the other things, maybe you're troubleshooting, trying to get the engine restarted. But you can know you're going to the closest airport that is available at your best glide, which is basically what you want to do anyway. 
Now, is this built in or is this an added uh, feature you have to kind of download, install, or whatnot? It's part of our next software update. So what we're seeing here is our, our beta software of that update, 17.1, and it's coming to Advanced Flight Systems 2 in their next software update. Um, as with all of our software updates, uh, it's going to be a free download. So you download it to your USB stick, you bring it to the, the panel, you upgrade it, and you're done. All of Skyview is is IFR capable when you have an IFR navigator. This works completely independent of that. So you you it, it doesn't care whether you're IFR VFR. It's going to glide you to the nearest airport. All right, and there's something else that I see uh, was announced before the show, but now seeing it in person, you want to talk about the. Uh, the backlit, the back, what do we call that? Yeah, so the, the, the comm radio panel um, is getting uh, an upgrade. For a long time we've had a, if you, if you remember, it's actually, if, if I'm not sure if the camera's getting it, but up on the, the, the poster there on the backdrop, it's a white display with black. This is a new upgraded OLED display. OLEDs are um, being used in a lot of phones and TVs on higher end devices. They have really excellent contrast, really great visibility in all, of lighting in all lighting conditions. And so we're introducing that at the show. It's going to start shipping um, pretty quickly. We're basically out of the old ones. And so that's coming to the Skyview line, and of course the same radio control panel is used in our advanced flight systems product line as well. And then the, the other thing right next to it is the Dynon D30. The, Dyn the D30 isn't a new product, but we haven't, we've kind of withheld it a little bit from the experimental market, mostly because there, it was kind of hard to ramp up that supply chain a year ago when there was more of a supply chain crisis going on. That's done with now, we have ample stock, uh, ample stock and so now you'll see this in our catalogs and on our website on the experimental side where it wasn't as prominently featured. So for pilots that are, are equipping IFR like we have in this um, RV14 panel, have Skyview system and IFR navigator like the Avidyne here, and then an independent backup like the D30. Going to be a great solution for all of our experimental pilots. All right, I'm going to pop in here real quick to talk about our sponsors. As you know, I can't do this all on my own. We got to have somebody to help fuel that truck. We try really hard to work with uh, sponsors that provide a good service and a good quality product. So let's talk about those guys right now. Dynon Avionics at Dynon.com, the premier provider of glass panel avionics systems for experimental and light sport aircraft. Wide Open Door Company at WideOpenDoorCo.com, your premier destination for high quality doors, including aircraft hangar doors. Warp Drive Propellers at WarpDriveInc.com, providing quality, solid carbon fiber propellers for many light sport and experimental aircraft. And visit our website at experimentalaircraftchannel.com for new videos and easy to navigate playlists and so much more. Speaking of fueling that truck, if you guys wanna join us on our Patreon page, become patrons of this channel, just search on Patreon for Experimental Aircraft Channel, sign up at several different levels, so check that out. The other side of Dynon is uh, Advanced Panel, and what's going on on that side of things? So we've introduced um, at Sun and Fun a kind of a new paradigm. So for a long time we've offered what we call Advanced Panel Complete. That's where we sell you the whole panel in a box, ready to go into your airplane. And one of the nice things about Advanced Panel is that it's built around the Advanced Control Module, which is this box here. This is a box that has electronic circuit breakers, it has customized wiring ports um, with customized, purpose-built, aircraft-specific, product-specific wiring harnesses that are basically plug-and-play. But the only way to get that until pretty recently was in a whole panel. But people want to build their panel around this because it really speeds installation. It has a bunch of great other features like the electronic circuit breakers, wig-wag lighting control, so on, so on. So now there are two more ways you can get that. One is by purchasing advanced panel, BYO panel, which is bring your own panel. So that's where you get the advanced control module with the kind of concierge level customized service where we curate the entire system with you, tell us what you want, Every, everything comes including the customized wiring harness so that when you m mount it into your own panel, bring your own panel, it's basically just plug and play wiring harnesses. So it's a little more a la carte shopping cart style. So that one is a, still kind of like a, uh, a very guided concierge exp experience where you're talking to one of the folks from Advanced Flight Systems, they're going to put together a very customized package for your airplane. There is a more a la carte uh, roll your own um, a version available as well and that is we have what we call the ACM jump start kit so advanced control module jump start kit that is where the 
the builder can buy just this module with a couple of set a couple of harnesses that everybody basically needs and you could buy that from advancedpanel.store which is a new online storefront that focuses on the advanced control module and that ecosystem of products and then um, and again this is for the person that's like comfortable selecting things and we're still happy to help you can give us a call or email and if you have questions about configurations but then advancedpanel.store has all of the remaining uh, harnesses the modules to complete your advanced control module centered avionics system um, and so it has all of the ACM uh, harnesses which are a little different than our, our normal harnesses the ones that go to the ACM that includes um, airframe specific uh, full airframe harnesses for the RV10 the RV14 there's a universal harness and that and that brings breaks out all of the electrical uh, uh, electrical connections to all of our products, but also all the other things like lighting and all, the, all of the other things. There's a harness that goes to the aircraft front, the aircraft rear, uh, that are specifically uh, length and, and have purpose-built connections just for those airplanes and the products that you'd normally find in them. Awesome. More kits for our kit industry. So we're here at uh, Oshkosh. I know you guys do several other venues throughout the, the years. Uh, is this the kind of like wrap it up or is there another one between now and the end of the year you guys go to? There's a handful of, uh, of, of smaller uh, shows and flyings that, that will go usually through October, November. I mean, Oshkosh is the place. This is, you know, the peak, the highlight of our year. It's the thing we prepare for basically the entire month of July. Uh, we love being here and it's been a really great week for us.